All right, folks, welcome back. We should be reaching the end of the game here very shortly. Very, very shortly. Can it be? Yes, I am freed, freed! Back in the hive. A couple things you can do back here. Uh, really, the only thing I want to do is show you what you can do with the cube at this point. Modern's cube, in other words. Before we head to the final game content. Look at all that craziness. Maldron's Maze, play, the Player's Mage, Pillar of Skulls, the Outlands, Ravel's Maze. Now you see all the different segments here. Not sure what I was supposed to uncover there. Uh, maybe the in-game content? I'm not sure. Uh, nor do I care. We do want to head to the Great Foundry. Now it's very important that we do not lose the lawful goodness that we have earned here uh, because we definitely want the Dagger of Celestial Fire and it's only usable by lawful good characters. So what I'm about to attempt it could sacrifice that alignment. But I just want to show you. Uh, oh, yeah, that's the. Uh, yeah, that's all the dead people we killed. Whoops, my bad. Having a brain fart. Ah oh, yes, I'm in the wrong place. That's right, I have to go to the siege tower. My bad, my bad. Wrong fucking place. There we go. I just I feel so uncomfortable with your hit points being so low. Do something about it. to save as in game. Ask! You know of a citadel called the Fortress of Regrets. It is a place of shadows 
A fortress not even this tower can breach. Do you know anything more about it? It is a memorial that has forgotten itself and now decays in darkness, slowly dying among the skies of the negative material plane. Do you know how to reach it? No! is hard. Hold! Before you depart, there is something you must do. What? Sunder this prison! Free me from my purpose cannot be fulfilled in this cage. How could I free you? Give me the plan or cube you carry. It can free me from this place. Alright, here you are. and I, ooh, yeah, I lost my neutral good. So, in other words, I can't use the dagger. You lose a lot of uh, alignment if you do that. But, you do get the Entropic Blade, which is 3 to 23 plus 2 enchanted. It's not nearly as good. You can talk to it, and you can will the blade to change as well, to spike gauntlets or an axe, which is kind of gay. So I just wanted to let you guys know that you can do that. If you have a high enough lawful good alignment, though, you can actually uh, tell Coax Metal to go fuck himself. The thing is, make sure that the, the Nameless One has the Modron cube in his inventory. We're going to talk to him and get the experience, but this time we're going to tell him that he can't leave. If you escape the city, you would only bring war and destruction to the rest of the planes. Countless planars would die. I cannot allow such a thing. That is why I must be free. The multiverse is rallying its legions. It is healing its wounds in time and may grow to be equal of entropy. This may not be allowed. I disagree. Listen, do you hear it? Order has set its chains around you. You are my enemy and the enemy of all that dies. You shall be barred from this tower until eternity ends. Alright, anyways. We keep our alignment, and you can tell Coax Metal to go fuck himself at this point. Point is, is if you're not lawful good, and you're going the evil route, or anything less than lawful good, then it's good to give Coax Metal the Modron Cube. Because at that point you can get the Entropic Blade, which is pretty much the second best weapon in the game. But not as good as Celestial Fire, my friends. Alright, let's head into the Mortuary and let's get this shit done. Let's talk to Pox. Where's Pox at?
Yeah, whatever. Whatever gets me in. Asshole nugget. Done. I think we have to find our way back to where we first begun the game. Been a long time since we've been here, eh? Yes, sir. All the zombies running around acting like a bunch of dipshits. No, I think it was down here. Right around here. Hey, Chief. There's something about the arch in front of you, something hauntingly familiar. A bone-numbing chill blankets the air between these two black pillars, as if the arch itself bordered up from some other colder space. For some reason you know this is the portal to the Fortress of Regrets. Now all you need is to open it. You clench your teeth and dig your fingernails into your left forearm. With a dry, tearing sound, you peel off a strip of skin. The chill between the pillars becomes stronger. Examining the scrap of skin, Peeled back from your left forearm. It's a scarred gray surface, reminds you of the zombie's hide. Feels more like a piece of cured leather. You prick the tip of your index finger. Before the wound can heal, you squeeze forth several drops of blood as you prepare to scrawl your regret. You whisper the words to yourself, but regret echoes through your mind. You scrawl the regret on the scrap of flesh, but your rapid healing forces you to stop off and to reopen the cut on your finger and squeeze forth more blood. Several moments later, you have finished, your blood glistening on the scrap of skin, a combination of your flesh, your blood, and your regret. As you watch the bloody regret dry, a wave of cold washes over you. You look up, the black pillars to either side of the arch are glowing softly. Motes of misty blue light drifting from their sides to form a shivering curtain between them. Beyond the curtain, you can barely make out the weathered stone causeway leading into the darkness. Everybody ready? Valio answers only with silence. As you turn to look at him, 
You see his eyes burning into you. They flicker for a moment as if in thought. You are suddenly struck with a terrible feeling he's searching your features, as if looking for something, some weakness. A uh, fall from grace? I have come this far, and it would be rude of me to retire before the final hour. Even if you were asked politely, I would not permit it. Anna? Aye, Anna. I'll go, so I will. I'm not telling Stag on you here, I won't. Very well, Dakon, you with me. Your path is mine. Morte, you ready? Eh, uh, uh, look, I'm not going to say too much here, but, uh, well, there's something I need to tell you. What is it, Morte? Well, it's about where we're going. Uh, actually, where we've been. Where we've been? What are you talking about? It's so subtle. You almost miss it. Dakon's blade flickers and edge dully. As you glance at him, his hands drop by his sides as if he's preparing for battle. Ah, this isn't the first time we've been through this. You see, we've been to the Fortress of Regrets before. Though we, uh, didn't know it then. So from the very start, you could have told me you were the portal was. What the portal key is, why I'm immortal, what happened to my mortality, and the fact that in this fortress, Morte, I'll kill you. Morte looks alarmed. No, no! We, I never knew any of that. It's not like we were always the most sharing bash in the plains. At the other, you kept a lot of the chant to himself. We didn't even know why we were going to the other place. What the place was! I just know what happened when we got here. What happened? Well, we went to this fortress. And even before we land foot in this place, we're all split up, fighting for our lives. So the first thing I want to tell you is determined to go through here. There's a good chance that anyone who goes through the portal is going to end up somewhere far away. Far from anyone else. That is, even split up. It may be your only hope. Why do you say that? Because whatever is waiting for the forge, Chief, it already defeated you once, to this day. I don't know how you managed to survive, but if you fall again, you're going to need someone there to pull you out of the fortress. Morte, I need you to tell me everything. This fortress of regrets stretches on for leagues, Chief. It's a fortress, but I feel like it's more like a plane in itself. All stone, all darkness, and shadows. Everywhere, shadows. We go there. We better be prepared. What happened when we first went? Chief, I don't know what happened to you, but I know what happened to me. I spend my time running vault to vault, those shadows crawling all over me, trying to bring me down. And I just suddenly, we were out, like someone had pulled us back. Morte falls silent. No, that I have walked your path many times. Dakon speaks slowly as if measuring each word. His blade has become a misty gray, as if Dakon's mind has drifted. A portion of your path is known to me. Five walked the path to the fortress. Each died their own death. But who were they? How did they die? I died the death of faith. The skull died the death of courage. The woman died the death of grief. The blind archer died the final and most merciful death, the death of the body. You... You died the death of memory. But who were these people? The skull was me. The woman was some chit named Dionara. I never knew the archer. He was the one who knew his targets without seeing them. Many shadows fell beneath his rain of arrows. Yeah. Chief, at this fortress, there's shadows everywhere. There was darkness there, and every shadow was Shekalor. Dakon's voice is a whisper, and his dead black eyes seem to be staring at something beyond you. They are tormented creatures. The wounds in your spirit are known to them. They will attack through them. They've known to me like a pillow of skulls. Morte's voice drops. They knew. All right, look, you two. I need to know all you can tell me. The shadows suffer. They know the torment. They know how to torture you with what you wounded heart. When you face them, know that you face that which has killed you once. Dakon. Morte, you and I have survived. What happened to the archer and to Dionara? The archer died the death of the body. The woman died the death of spirit. I could not save the woman because it was not your will that she be saved. Her grave was dry of tears. No one knew her mourn, her passing. Why did I not have saved her? Your will was known only to you. All right, look, you two. Tell me all you know. Okay, anyways... Let's get through this fucking portal already. The negative material plane. Not a really cool place. If you like sunshine.
And we're all by ourselves. Fantastic. Before you is a ghostly form of Dionara. Her spectral gown seems stirred by the ethereal breeze. She is standing at the edge of the Blackstone Causeway, staring out into the emptiness of the plain. Dionara? My love, you should not be here. You must leave at once. Dionara, what place is this? Is this the fortress? This is the Fortress of Regrets. It is the place that holds the moment of my death. Prisoner, I may not stray far from its halls. If you can find a way back to Citrin, you must. If you stay here, my love, you shall die. I'm immortal, Dianara. I don't think I have much to worry about even here. She shakes her head. No, my love. There is something about this fortress. The shell that surrounds it cuts you out from the rest of the plains. It is the shell that acts as a barrier of your immortality. How could the shell act as an optical? It makes no sense. As I have maintained my vigil here in this place, I have come to learn the nature of your immortality, my love. It is the thing which hungers for the lives of others. At the moment of your death, it claims another living thing in your place, allowing you to live. The soul that dies in your place is brought here to the fortress as a shadow. I believe this shell prevents your immortality from finding another victim. So, when I die, another dies in my place, and if I can't find another living thing to die for me? Then if you die in this place, it is the end. But my allies are here, and that means they are inside the shell. What happens to them if I die? My love, if you have brought anything that lives with you to this place, it is a terrible danger, both from the shadows, from you. Should you die here, your immortality will hunt for the closest thing. You must leave here now. I can't go back. So can you tell me anything else that might be helpful? There is no natural darkness within the fortress, my love. Only the shades of those who have died in no place. The energies of the plains feed them, and their hatred for you is beyond all reason. They will not permit you to leave. She throws a glance at the walls of the fortress. Do not enter, I beg you! But my allies are in there. I cannot leave them. Do you have any idea where they might be? If you brought others, they were cast from you when you arrived. I have to find them. There is no choice in the matter. Very well, my love. One more thing. Dianara pauses of trying to catch a fleeting memory. Within, within the chamber are the great clocks. Her voice becomes steadier, more certain. Clocks, which you spoke of once as having been the key to you escaping that chamber. When you were trapped there once before. She looks at you. I cannot stay with you from the course, my love. I shall watch for you and help you if I can. I brought your ring, Dianara. I found your legacy to me. The ring still holds a part of me within it, my love. When you carry it, you carry my heart. Carry it now, with my blessing, and keep it close. So, she upgrades your ring from plus ones to plus threes. Of course, you can only have negative nine armor class in this game. That's alright. That will help a lot. We have the skin of regrets.
Saving and loading. Arise, Ignis. I have need of you. There are creatures that must die. <laughs> Ignis, you can kiss my ass, sea bass. Alright, so... Sixteen. As you can see, the nameless one with this kind of constitution, that being 24 out of 25, he starts to heal at an alarming rate, that being about two hit points a second. If we manage to get him up to another level, he will literally heal like a mad demon. Now, the first time I played this game, I actually had a fighter, but if you want to take a look at some sick stats here uh, ignore the 11 strength that means nothing at this point 21 intelligence 25 wisdom 17 dex 24 constitution and 18 charisma uh, yeah a little modified but also a little fucking sick and we're only a level 16 mage you can literally kill anything you want with celestial fire Ain't nothing gonna stand in my way. experience of pop. I'm just uncovering map and killing shit. Celestial fire is going to do extra 10 damage every time. Unless they save, but either way, even with 11 strength, whooping we'll that ass.
pulsating spectral light comes from deep within the pool. You want to take a shit in its surface. Whoa. Whoa, I took damage. I'm so scared. Clock looks like it's partially melted into the black stone surrounding it. Run doors or lies, use cannons, then portal. Examine the panel here. The panel has a series of gears and levers. We'll pull the lever marked with X. It gives way easily beneath your touch, and to your surprise, disintegrates into mist. What the fuck? Heal, 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 heal! that you could answer. Your goals in this matter have not been entirely clear. My goals are not for you to know, Fallen Tenari. My indulgence is all that keeps your black heart beating in your chest. You may leave with your life now, if you will. My heart is neither black, nor do I fear more for my life. My companions and my friends are here in the fortress. I shall not leave until we are rejoined. There is no satisfactory conclusion to this voice, Aaron, fool's errand. You will leave this place. You shall not leave your undying companion here. Fear not. For his life, the only price he shall pay is the loss of memory. As gracious as your offer is, I must refuse your offer to abandon my friends. As for the small price he will pay, it is the equivalent of debt to him. I do not wish him to forget. He will forget, and it is fate to remain ignorant. He will forget you, Tanari, just as he has forgotten all who have walked the path of misery with him. He exists to die, forget, and die again. He is nothing. That is your judgment. The fact remains that I do not wish him to forget me, nor all that he has struggled to reach this place. He has suffered much, and I find my sympathies lie with him rather than the arrogant creature that postures before me and fights as a coward, fights preferring to kill from a distance where his opponent cannot reach him. You shall torment him no more. Tonare! Perhaps you doubt my powers here in this place. A demonstration may silence you your done doubt. You enough harm. Prepare yourself. You are nothing. I can forge planes with my power. I can unleash you. Demon Lord! Let us see more.
Your words have passion, strength, and precious little reason. It gives me strength to gut you. I do not care. Curious. Your reason for following him is here becoming clear. Enough of your chatter. If it's a fight you want, then... Could it be that somehow you perceive yourself as special in his eyes? If he's gonna try to get past me, then go on and do it. Finley, I have watched the one you follow across many lifetimes. I know his heart, and I know there have been countless others who have felt passion for him. Of them all, you certainly the least. You are a thing, bastardized by your parents in the plains. Shut your bone box, you hear me? Shut your... Hear to me this, and you will know silence, child. Does the one you follow matter to you? be more in the next video. The final video, my friends. Planescape Torment has come to an end. Stay tuned for the epilogue.